Hey guys, this is Daniel Dr. D and uh, I went over to see my buddy Bob, my audio buddy, and uh, I, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to 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 talk about these, these pieces of gear here. Now you may recall in some previous video I mentioned the Don Sachs preamp. And it's kind of interesting. I, I want to cover a couple of things here. Uh, you guys may have seen the Hi-Fi K video where there was a review of this super rectifier. And I will just, I'm going to tell you something. If you want to read the specs, go on to uh, Space, Tech's, uh, Space Tech Labs website if you want to learn all the technical aspects of this. I have never heard this. Today was the first day I have ever heard this. And my buddy Bob had told me about it. He's like, you got to hear this. So um, here we are. Now, before I tell you about the sound, I just want to mention this. You have the option to switch with this toggle to make it solid state. And I believe you remove this 602 tube out of here. You have to shut it off, obviously. Take the tube out, and then I believe you switch it over to the solid state to the other side. But it is currently set up in tube mode. I'm just telling you, I was blown away at how significant a difference this thing makes. And as particularly to this Don Sachs preamp, that was what really floored me. I'm talking like a 30% in my guesstimation improvement of just the, the, the weight, the depth, the body, the fullness, the richness. It's so incredible to me. How significant. And I think this thing only costs like around $1,000. And apparently, Al, this gentleman here that uh, that manufactures or makes these things, there's one that allows you to have two of these tubes in there, these 602 tubes in there. Man, I am blown away by this. I, I am, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this. It, it's like, once you hear it with it, it's so hard to go back to this on its own when you compare it, when you add this, it's significant. So the way this works, now we have it plugged into this uh, this reference, this uh, one RV. And by the way, this flickering that I'm shooting live here, the display in here is not flickering. It's just the frame rate coming from my phone that's causing it to flicker like that. So just so you're aware of it. This uh, rectifier, the way this works is it this plug comes out of here all the way around here and then you plug it in to here. And that's how so you do it. So you have to remove the existing rectifier, assuming your preamp has a rectifier. But <laughs> I just can't get over how significant the differences are with this thing. And I don't think anybody knows about this thing. So I, I it's, it's quite significant for the amount of money you're paying for this, the improvement that it makes. So I just can't help myself. Now, just my preference listening to it between the Don Sachs and this reference uh, preamp, I have to say that in order to get, you know, this preamp to sound as good as this one, you need to add this. The differences when you add it to this are a little or more subtle, but um, can compare to this, it's a, you know, quite an improvement. I don't know whether I can use this in my amp, I would have to, you know, my power amp, but um, I, I would have to find out. But man, what a beautiful, you know, kit this is. And this reference preamp was just sensational uh, performance here. Uh, the back here is KT-170s on the back end uh, here that you see here. And then we have these other tubes here. So go to his website. It's called um, Space Tech Labs. Space Tech Labs, sorry. And I believe he's in Canada, right? Yeah, so in Canada. So there you have it. And uh, if I get ever have some way, I don't have anything at home where I can add rectification as far as I know. I don't know if this would work with anything I have. So, but man, I can't say enough. Anyway, I'll be back at you soon.